Just this morning on December 27th, 2016, we lost our Princess Leia, the one and only, the multi-talented Carrie Fisher, the daughter of Hollywood royalty Debbie Reynolds and Eddie Fisher. We came to know Carrie for her breakout role as the strong and sassy Princess Leia in Star Wars. Huh? Come on. You're imagining things. Am I? Then why are you following me? Fredo's gonna leave without giving you a goodbye kiss? I just assumed he's a Wookiee. I can arrange that. But she also starred in such Hollywood hits as Shampoo and When Harry Met Sally. You guys were a couple. You had someone to go places with. You had a date on national holidays. Fisher was also an incredible writer and had an impeccable sense of humor. Among George's many possessions, the man owns my likeness. So every time I look in a mirror, I have to send him a couple of bucks. And on a personal note here, if I can be completely candid, one of my good friends here in Hollywood set her up with her personal assistant she's been traveling the world with these past couple years. People say a lot of nice things about people when they die, especially Hollywood icons. But in the case of Carrie Fisher, I can personally vouch that she was a loving person who was incredibly generous to those around her. Her past struggles with drugs and alcohol is well documented, but I don't knock her for her struggles. I celebrate her for being so honest and forthcoming, helping millions of other individuals deal and cope with those same very serious issues, making so many people feel not so alone and embarrassed. In a day and age where everything is fake and no one is real, Miss Fisher was a personification of honesty, humility, and perseverance. She was in the eyes of many, well, royalty. Goodbye, Princess. We miss you and we love you. May the force be with you. I love you. I know.